I think this character is going to be like the lower third of the cast. To me, it feels like a bottom of high tier, top of mid tier level character. So is Banjo actually good? Well, if you're like me and you have an unconditional love for Banjo-Kazooie, you're going to play them no matter how good they are. But it seems so far the consensus of the community is he ranges from mediocre to meh to yeah, he's not bad. The highest I've heard is bottom of the high tier in terms of his tier placement, and some rank him as low as low tier, but I think they're just judging him on his n normal moves and his combo game, where he's not really that type of character. Not really that great at one particular thing, he's kind of one of those jack of all trades, but that's actually like super useful to be able to be somewhat good at everything. You know, if you have a glaring weakness, your opponents are always going to try to exploit that weakness or counterpick you. Okay, so let's start off with Banjo's tilts. First of all, F tilt is actually a really good move. It's got a good disjoint, comes out pretty quick, and it's pretty spam, honestly. It's kind of hard to punish just because of the range and the way he kind of winds up before he pokes Kazooie out. So F tilt, good move in neutral. Um, it also can combo off of bear one, two. What I mean by that is when you use bear, there's three hits. So if you hit with the, only the first and second move, you can immediately uh, forward tilt after that. So that's a pretty good, uh, nice little pseudo combo there. Okay, next up is down tilt. Now down tilt can be used for a couple good things. One, it can low pro profile a couple moves, as well as being a pretty good move to attack the edge, especially because of the angle that it sends at. Um, in term, other than that, uh, down tilt is not amazing. Most of the time, F tilt is just going to be a little bit better, considering it's uh, doesn't have as much range, but it's going to be a lot faster. So if you whiff a down tilt, it's going to be a lot worse than if you whiff an F tilt. Okay, next is up tilt. Now up tilt, uh, the bad thing about up tilt is that its range is actually pretty bad. I'm talking like horizontal range. So you could get up pretty close to someone and still whiff your up tilt. So you want to be using it as a anti-air move, or you can use it out of your down throw. But there's one big problem with that strategy is the fact that up tilt actually doesn't hit out of the berry. You have to hit them right as they come out of the berry. So that's pretty not great. If you're good at predicting, like if you know they're a really fast masher and you have a feeling they're gonna get out early, then share up tilt. But most of the time, I think it's better to just pick another option, namely up smash. However, up tilt does have bigger knockback growth than up smash does. So later on, you wanna to try to be hitting those up tilts if you can as they're falling down, as opposed to up smash, because up tilt's gonna kill a little bit earlier than up smash will. In terms of jabs, I actually really like Banjo's jab. It comes out frame four, which is his fastest move. His second fastest move is F tilt, as well as dash attack at frame seven. So you'll be using a good amount of jabs throughout your matches. And there's two ways to end your jab. You can do a triple jab, kind of similar to Mario's jab and you'll do a strong uppercut to finish or you can end it with a flurry attack which is red attack wrap the only difference is if you want to do that third jab and hit him away with the banjo's punch you just wait a little bit after that second jab and then just click a now in terms of the dash tag it's actually pretty good kill move uh it's killing most people around 150 percent i wouldn't spam it though because even if they're shielding you're not going to uh kind of cross them up so make sure you be careful with that move but it can be a nice kill move. It could be a decent tech chase option, so just keep that in mind. Okay, up next are his smashes, and forward smash is his slowest and strongest smash move. It's pretty good, pretty good uh, strength, and Kazooie is actually disjointed, so it's very similar to a sword. You know, use that to your advantage. Also, Banjo kind of lunges back before he does that forward smash, so you can um, take advantage of that as well. What I like to do is there's a little bit of as you're running with Banjo, and if you turn around. You can uh, slide across the ground a little bit, so there might be some shenanigans you can pull off by running away and then quickly side smashing in the other direction. You can also use it to uh, two frame people or just try to smash people out of their recoveries. In combination with your down B, it's pretty brutal. Okay, next is down smash. Uh, down smash isn't a great move, but I do like this move a lot. Uh, it's a little bit faster than forward smash. Obviously, it's a down smash that covers both sides of him. What I like to do personally with this move is after I nair, since nair is kind of weird and it doesn't always send in the direction you think it will. So if you do a nair and end it early before you get that final hit, you can down smash uh, immediately and a lot of times you'll catch people off guard. So that's pretty pretty good use. Also, if you're trying to ledge trap people with an egg, you can uh, move in close with the down smash and, and cover multiple options. Okay, Banjo's up smash. Up smash is pretty good because it's his best out of shield option, minus like maybe nair. You'll be using up smash a lot out of shield because Banjo doesn't have a super fast grab. And you'll also be using up smash as your finisher with down throw. Now people have been saying, you know, down throw to forward smash is the way to go. But trust me, you want to be using up smash for the throw finisher. And unlike up tilt, up smash will hit grounded opponents. So it's almost always better to use up smash than up tilt. The only time you wouldn't is if you have like a perfect read on their mashing. You can time your up tilt to hit them as they come out of the berry. But uh, unless you're tweak, I don't know if that's... Uh, 
going to be a good strategy to rely on. Okay, next is Nair. I took about this move just a little bit, and I like Nair. I think it's a good uh, way to kind of cross people up as a mix-up as approaching. What I like to do is just Nair past their shield. And a lot of times you won't get this to, you won't hit with the last move, so you can do things like down smash, or you can get like little F-tilts or even grabs off of it. Uh, it's, it's a nice mix up, but I wouldn't just spam neutral uh, neutral air as an approach option, that's that's really not good. But you can also do things like uh, nairing them when you're below them on a platform, and you can get you know possible follow-ups from that. Forward air is a beast, it's a, probably his strongest aerial. And it's really nice if you put a grenade in front of it. If you throw a grenade and then fair immediately afterward, it's uh, pretty good pressure on the opponent. If you have time to use any aerial, forward air is definitely the way to go. Back air, I think, is Banjo's most underrated aerial. This is a mini Ridley's forward air, and it's super useful. What I like to do is just kind of run in and then uh, fade back and back air or a uh, rar back air a lot. It's got good range. If you just hit with the first two hits of back air, you can immediately connect those into an F tilt. So that's a nice, good chunk of damage. I think a lot more experimenting needs to go into back air. And I have a feeling in the next few months, we're gonna be seeing Banjo's be using a back air a lot more. Okay, up air, up air isn't great. And it's only to kind of keep people up in the air. I and mean, you can rack up a good amount of damage with up air, but it's not super great. And people have been playing around with just, just the first hit of up aerial into stuff, but it's pretty tough to hit. I know it's possible, but I wouldn't recommend you doing those kind of setups unless you're very confident on your combo game. But if you're under a platform, I think mixing up nair and up air is definitely the way to go. Okay, down air is a pretty fun move. You can do a lot of interesting things with this. And depending upon the percent, you can actually connect that right into an, an up smash. So that's a pretty, pretty decent move. Uh, you can't really use this move off the level. I've tried several times, and you have to jump. You have to be up pretty high for it to actually work. And I, there's, there's so many more options that you can do with banjo. The one thing that's kind of cool that you can get people with is doing a down air on the stage. You can kind of nick them if they're on the ledge. That there's a lot better things you could be doing with banjo. In terms of banjo's throws, his fourth throw is pretty not useless, but it's not great. It throws them not very far, and the only thing you can really do is get, you know, some tech chase setups off of it. I mean, I guess if you, if you do it quick enough, you can get some uh, jab blocks into a nice little combo, which is kind of cool. Up throws, eh, not great. It, nothing really straight up combos into it, but you can get, you know, obviously you get positional advantage. So you can start using up airs and stuff like that, so that's always good. But if you're looking for a reliable combo throw, up throw is not the throw you want to be using. Back throw is nice because it's, it's his strongest throw, but it's also a kill throw. About like one. 30, 140 at the side of the stage, you can back their people off, uh, which is stronger than people think because as Banjo, you could be, you can, not super campy, but you could play pretty campy. So if they overextend at least even a little bit too much, you can just grab back, throw them off, and they're just dead. So that's pretty awesome. And if they're not dead, they just got a really good ledge, ledge game, so I'm sure you can set up for at least a good amount of damage or a kill from there. Back throw, probably his best throw. Last but not least is down throw, similar to K rules. And now, Whenever there's a berry throw, people always assume that you can hit them much sooner than you can because they play against people who don't mash optimally. So in terms of what you need to be doing out of down throw, F smash is going, going to work if your opponent doesn't know what mashing is. Down smash isn't bad, but if they pop up even a little bit, you're going to miss them. What you should be doing is up smash, because up smash not only is faster than F smash, but it also hits grounded opponents just like F smash does, and it comes out quicker. So I can't think of a reason where I would use anything but up smash out of down throw. And you might have seen some cool Twitter combos where you can jump and then you can grenade and then you can side B. But out of that berry, unless they don't know how to mash, you're you're not gonna get that kill. Okay, neutral B. I'll be totally honest with you, I did not like this move when I first started playing around with it. But watching some of the people play and it's actually got a good amount of utility. It's a good thing to do in neutral along with throwing your down B around as shooting the eggs. And people can actually combo off of the uh, Regal Blaster, which is when you hold the egg. You can jump while you're shooting eggs, so you can combo off of that into other things, which is uh, pretty neat. Obviously, his up B is pretty good, because you can not only jump out of it, you can charge it up, so you can mix up your recovery in that way. You can also, oh, just going to the ledge and down being, and then running off and then using an up B, it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent. Not much more to say about this move, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty good recovery. Okay, now we get to Banjo's two most important moves that he has, his down B and his side B. Okay, I'll start with down B. Knowing how to down B properly is the key to a good banjo, no question. You want to be able to jump and immediately turn around down B, as well as being able to down B and immediately grab your grenade. Mastering the grenade is easily going to be the most important thing when it comes to playing banjo. Now down B has a lot of uses, I talked about a little earlier. Ledge trapping, uh, down B into something else, 
is uh, super strong because there's a lot you can do. You can run off the stage. You can just charge F, F, F smash. You can wait for the jump. You can charge an uh, up smash or a down smash if you're looking for like the roll. You can run off and throw the shock spring pad at them as well as having the down B out. You can double or triple jump on the stage and then throw the down B at them just to kind of mess up with the different recovery arcs. And your down B actually sets up for one of the most powerful combos that Banjo has. I'm coining it the Wonder Bomb, but here's how it works. Basically, you jump above them, shoot the grenade, and then immediately side B. So the grenade explosion is going to pop them up into the side B, which kills them at a pretty crazy low percent. I mean, I've, still, I've seen people kill confirm at 50% with this, which is just kind of just a little bit insane. Okay, last but not least, Wonder Wing, the side B, the golden feathers. Banjo's best move, and this move is nutty. It does about 26%. It's totally invincible um, once you start moving. On the startup, the first like 16 frames or so, when he's kind of charging up, he's not invincible, but the entire time he's moving, he is. Now, if you get hit in those first 15, 16 frames of his side B, you actually won't lose any feathers, so that's kind of nice. So when people are spamming a uh, projectile, like a rapid fire projectile, I kind of like just to sit there and spam side B because they keep hitting me, and then as soon as they stop spamming it, I immediately go off and use the side B. It's a pretty decent mix up in terms of neutral because people are always, you know, running around. If you're a banjo player, you're running around shooting eggs, you're shooting the grenade eggs, you're doing different approaches, a lot of times you're jumping at them. So just jumping away like you're gonna do a grenade and then immediately flying in with the side B catches people off guard a lot. And especially especially online, these moves are a little bit harder to react to. So you'll get a good amount of mileage just by throwing in side B as a random mix of every once in a while. This is Banjo's strongest combo kill confirm, like I said earlier, off of a down B. Any Anytime you put the opponent in enough lag, you want to end that combo with the side B. It's the, it's the strongest finisher he has, and it looks badass, so there's that too. Of course, you can also use this move as recovery, and remember, even if you use all three jumps and then up B, you can still side B, so uh, don't be afraid to do that. Now, in my opinion, as Banjo, you should very rarely get edge guarded. Just with all the mix-up tools you have, you got three jumps. If you're off the stage, you have two mid-air jumps, you have your up B, which you can act out of, and you can air dodge afterwards, and you have your side B. With all those different mix-ups, you should almost always get back to the stage. And similar to Snake's C4, you can actually have a super Pseudo infinite recovery with Banjo. Banjo, in terms of your neutral game, if you want to get some sort of advantage, should involve a lot of F tilts, uh, grenades for sure, neutral B if you can. Don't be afraid to throw out a bear as kind of an anti aerial poke every once in a while, it's a pretty good mix up. Also, doing things like a cross up nair is pretty good, but you always want to be mixing it up. Like, it's good to be using the grenade, and you should be using the grenade a lot, but that shouldn't be the only thing you can do as Banjo because that starts to get predictable. Approaching with forward air isn't great, it's pretty easy to shield grab that move, but if you throw a grenade in front of it, then it becomes a little bit better because then you can do stuff like empty hop and then grab um, or you can you know throw it in there instead but remember i mean yeah i think of banjo as a jack of all trades character so keep mixing it up don't just do that one thing because you're not excellent at one thing you're pretty good at a lot of things also on the side b it's really good against projectile spammers uh, especially if they're setting up shop and they're just camping all over the place and you can't really get in uh, throw your grenade and then thro throw in a side B right afterwards and you can do some crazy shenanigans. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, you, you might, might f end up fighting a me gunner sometime soon, so if you see one of them about to shoot the charge shot, side being, eating that charge shot and going right through and hitting them for 26% is a pretty good feeling. Alright guys, so that's it for me for Banjo. I hope you guys are enjoying this character as much as I am. I think he's hilarious. I don't care how good or bad he is. We finally get Banjo-Kazooie in Smash. After all these years, I remember as a kid, I'm like, man, why don't they have Banjo Kazooie in Smash? And I, you know, I mean, it just it just made so much sense. I mean, but now he's finally here, and I think he is a fantastic character, super fun. And everybody thought Prime Plant was terrible, and Joker wasn't that great when they first came out. And Joker is arguably the best character right now, so you never know what's gonna happen. So that's it for me for now, and I'll see you in the next one.